Hi, today I want to discuss um, <coughs> forces and motion 1 on topic 2.1 linear motion part 2. So in this video, I will discuss on photo gates. So the use of photo gates uh, and electronic timer to determine displacement, velocity, acceleration and deceleration with higher accuracy. So what is this photo gate system? So you want to discuss uh, at the same time is electronic timer. Other than ticker timer, photogate system and electronic timer can be used to study linear motion more accurately. In my previous uh, video, I discussed about the use of ticker timer to uh, analyze motion. So in this part, we want to discuss about the use of photogate system and electronic timer. The use of photogate system and electric timer is more accurate because no ticker tape is attached to the trolley. As such, there will be no friction between ticker tape and ticker timer affecting the motion of the trolley. An electronic timer can measure the time interval to accuracy of 0.001 second compared to 0.02 second on the year for a ticker timer. So you can see the accuracy is higher. This short time interval enables us to determine velocity and acceleration of the trolley more accurately. Okay, you can see here, this is photo gate. This one is electronic timer. We use a trolley, a non-motorized trolley with a shutter plate. Okay, actually this uh, photo gate is just like uh, a light detector okay device okay so you can uh, use this one to determine uh, <coughs> velocity and acceleration so for this one you can refer to activity 2.2 uh, in your textbook page 34 so aim of this uh, activity is to use a photo gate system an electronic timer to determine velocity and acceleration. Apparatus needed, photo gate system and electric timer, trolley and runway. Okay, look at this video. Okay, use of two uh, photo gates. Connect the first photo gate to the electronic timer and also the second uh, for the gate to the electronic timer turn on the switch at first you need to measure distance between two for the gates okay release the trolley make sure the there is a shutter plate uh, that uh, able to block okay the sensor at the for the gate so that the photo gate able to detect uh, the trolley that passed through it. Okay, so we can record all the readings. Electronic timer, eh? electronic timer. Okay, can look at this one, the result. At first, we can set distance of separation between two for the gates S as 40 centimeter. Okay, release the the trolley to pass through the photo gates record the total time taken okay you can repeat for 50 60 70 and 80 so we get all these readings so these are the time or the total time taken eh, for the trolley to pass through two photo gates next uh, remove Remove the first photo gate and release the trolley from the first, from the same starting point. And then we can record the time interval when the trolley passed through the second photo gate. We can uh, repeat the same thing uh, for different distance between two photo gates. Okay. Then we can calculate for final velocity. Final velocity is, you can take S divided by time interval. 40 divided by 0 0.099. This one, 50 divided by 0 
this one is 60 divided 0 0.084 this one is 70 divided 0 0.078 and this one 80 divided by 0 0.074 you want to determine acceleration, so we use this formula A equals V divided by T. Okay, so you take the value of V, this is the value of V that you calculate from here. So divide by total time taken, so 50.51 divided by 1.701. This one 54.95 divided by 1.844. And this one, 559.52 divided by 2.1111. Okay, we get this is the answer. And then you can continue 64.10 divided 2.242. So you get 28.59. And then 67.57 divided by 2.278. So you get 29.96. Okay, so this is the acceleration and velocity that we calculate based on the recorded value from the experiment meaning the reading of the electronic timer so the total time taken is a time taken eh, when you place two for the gates the time interval the interval delta t is the time recorded when you just use one photo gate the, the second photo gates eh. Okay, based on the results in the table, determine the average acceleration of the trolley. What you do, you just calculate the average of the value of acceleration here. Okay, and then you total up, divide by 5, so you get 29.25 cm per second squared. This is average acceleration. Okay, next question, when S increased from 40 to 80, the total time T increased but time interval delta T decreased. Why? So you can see the value of t here, the value increase. But delta t, the value decrease. So how to explain this uh, situation? Okay, number two. Uh, the value of t increases because longer distance takes longer time taken. Of course, uh, you can see the, the, the distance of separation increases. Thus, the total time taken increases. The value of delta t decreases. Why? So this, uh, for this trolley, actually this is a constant acceleration motion. Okay? Meaning the value of acceleration always constant. The average is about 29.25 cm per second squared. So if the acceleration is constant, okay? Meaning what? The value of delta t decreases. So as you can see from this uh, statement, for the value of v, when s increases, okay, v increases. So to maintain the, to maintain uh, the acceleration is constant, thus delta t must be decreased. Okay. So why this one is constant? So you can see here constant. Okay. So the, the answer is the value of delta t decreases because trolley is moving with constant acceleration. Okay, that's all about photogate. So you can try um, you can try eh, to carry out activity using the photogates. Okay. So that you will understand better for this topic. That's all. Bye.